Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the new Let's Play, Agatha Christie's, and then there were none. I'm going to guess this is based on the book, which I read, I don't know, before, just before summer? So, I have read this, and recently um, I watched the 1945 version of the film, also called And Then There Were None. The later ones, I think, were called Ten Little Indians, because of the little, because of the little poem that I'm sure we're going to here in this. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what they're going to do with it. I'm assuming they're going to play with it a little bit. They played with um, uh, the previous Agatha Christie game we played, which was Murder on the Orient Express. There we go. By having you play an additional figure and Poirot being kind of out of action. Now, in this one, everyone on the island is a suspect and is also trying to solve the murder, which is a bit weird. Um, or the murders, as they're slowly being picked off, so that then there will be none. Um, let's let's see what happens. I hope my son's antics don't disturb you. Madam, were it in my power to sentence him to 30 days hard labor, they would not disturb me in the slightest. Smashing day for it. On holiday? No. <laughs> oh, Leslie. Uh, it isn't true. Oh, oh big pardon, ma'am. Miss. Yes, of course, yes. Have to be, wouldn't it? So this is, we're slowly being introduced to the various characters, I'm assuming. I realise that I do what I always do, which is forget to put subtitles on. Damn fool. I suppose I'll be expected to tend to his wounds after he piles up, and I don't fear that. No one injured, at least. No apparent damage to the cars. Young fool must lead a charmed life. That's the lot. My money's on the servants. The servant's usually always the guilty one in the end. Welcome to Sticklehaven, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Davis, the Harbour Master. Sorry. Waiting for me. That's everyone, then. The other bags are already on board the boat there. They know me. Each other? It must be him. In the flesh. All set, Nerikos. Ready, sir. Right. I'll leave it to you then. Seas calm. Should be a pleasant crossing. If you leave now, there's a squall coming. I can smell it. Is it called Shipwreck Island? Well, the weather can turn nasty quickly. There are many submerged rocks, lots of wrecks hereabouts. And that big rock at the tip is said to resemble a beached schooner. The locals call it Ship Rock. You're not from around these parts, then, Mr. No. Narakon? No, sir. I'm not. No. Really not. Oh, right, yes, I can see it.
And these are the servants who are It'll already never on the work. If you would be so good as to follow that path up to the house, my wife will show you to your rooms. I expect you'd all like to freshen up after your journey. Where's Fred? Under the weather. I took his place. You'd be the brother then. I see the resemblance. Will you help me with the bags? Yes. I've been hoping to get a look at the house. Okay, I'm getting Roger Ackroyd vibes. <laughs> Chapter 1. Ten little sailor boys went out to dine. One choked his little self, and then there were nine. Okay. Um. Oh. Thank you for your assistance, oh, you Mr. Narricott. Everything and everyone nicely in place. I must say, I don't much like these clouds. I expect you should be heading back without delay. So, uh, as I... Now it begins. Don't worry, Fred. I won't let you down. Oh, just a drizzle. It's going to get much worse. So, uh, as I mentioned, uh, some of the um, in the book, it's ten little Indians, and some later ones in the film. The grass is slippery and the slope is steep. I'd best stick to the path. So uh, I'm not surprised they changed to sailors um, to make it slightly more well. Slightly less offensive. Um. Ah, that's a slight problem. Damn things wrecked. No chance of returning to the mainland now. So, I think are we going to have to like slowly work out who? I assume we're going to work out who done it. Although, it's very convenient that that's already happened. Meaning that we are no longer, we can't go back. I'll have to chat with him then. Mr. Narakot, why are you still on the island? Someone scuttled my boat. <gasps> scuttled? Wrecked, you mean? But who on earth would do such a thing? I intend to find out. But that means, who will come for us on Monday? Unless this storm lets up, no one. Dear me, dear me. Come in, come in. You'll catch your death out here. I must help my wife prepare dinner. I'll have her fix you up something in the kitchen. Thank you. So, am I gonna have to do... Ooh, Where he's going to sleep, I'll never know. Ethel won't like this one bit. Yoink. What have I got in my bag? I've just got the walking stick. That's fine. Let's head towards the kitchen, because that seems to be the... It's an albatross. I can't say I'm particularly fond of the painting. The subject matter doesn't interest me. I mean, I could go... I think this is probably a time to go and do a bit of exploring, potentially, but... I'm not entirely sure what we're trying to do at the moment. This is the dining room. A place for everything, and everything in its place. Ten little sailor boys. Ten little sailor boys. Charming. Well, not really. It looks very much like the 1945 setup with them standing like that. Apart from those were Indians. I think... Uh, well, that was the term used. I think it was Native American looking, thing, looking um, figures. It'll never work, I tell you. We should never have agreed. A house party only a week after we arrive? And no other help? Ethel, calm yourself. You promised me. Never again, you said. How was I to know? Oh, ah, Mr. Narricott. Uh, Ethel will be preparing you a meal in here once the guests are served. So I don't think there's anything else. We could follow Ethel. Or we could go and... I don't think you need to grab... I'm just stealing things. I know that this is... Uh, and we've... We've got the... Uh... Hello.
I don't need it, and I'm no pack rat. No need to call unnecessary attention to my snooping. Ooh, that's interesting. So we've got a large metal scoop, a cheese wheel, a turkey baster, fruit basket, and a walking stick. It's like, and I'm not a pack rat, he says. That'll be the way out, but I think it might be time to ingratiate ourselves with... This is a different door, but alright. With the... Um, Uh, various people around. Oh, we could nip upstairs and have a look around here. Would you just look at all these silk sheets? All embroidered GS. I'll bet that was that actress who used to live here. But I've dropped them on this filthy floor. Oh, dear. Uh, can I give you a hand, Mrs. Rogers? Can I give you a hand, Mrs. Rogers? Oh, yeah, he's talking, isn't he? Thank you, Mr. Narricott. You seem like a good sort. I'm sorry for your boat. Oh, this is into the main room. So, are these are the various bedrooms? It's locked fast. They might have locked the bedrooms, potentially. Oh, no. Ah, toilet. Ah, so this is to be a shared kind of bathroom between the two. That is in 1945. Thing. I can't open it. It's locked. I don't think going through that would help. Either he's innocent, in which case I'd be grossly invading his privacy, or he's guilty and surely wouldn't be daft enough to leave any evidence in his luggage. Okay, I mean, let's be honest. At this point, I've not, um... There's nothing to be guilty of unless he's... Unless he's maybe thinking about the, um... Destroying his boat, possibly. So, there's no point actually thinking about it until we've got a reason to be snooping around. I probably shouldn't be doing so. Um, interesting painting. Birds don't appeal to me, but someone here certainly fancies them. Hmm. Oh, right. Oh, that's interesting. So this is the servants' quarters. Um, I won't say... I know it's a book from the 1930s, I believe. I won't talk about who did it in the... In the... In the um, in May the I interrupt for a moment? I can't talk and play, Mr. Narricott. Right now, I prefer to play. And uh, this is the doctor, assumably. He's the judge. This is the doctor. May I ask you a question? Not now, man. Can't you see we're busy? Okay. Uh, how do I get them to? <laughs> how do I get them to go to lunch? To dinner. Sorry. This is basically the same setup as the 1945 um, film, which is really cool. Actually, I really like that. Your shot, judge. Yes. Oh, hi. You haven't left me much, I confess. I knew judges listened to confessions. I never knew they made them as well. Oh, some judges may have cause. Some doctors as well, I expect. Ooh. Very interesting. Okay, so we've stumbled in. So we've come in at that that direction, which has caused a cutscene. It's tightly locked. Right. So, I'm assuming you're not gonna. May I ask you a question? This is not a time for idle chatter. Not that I'd want to play, even if there was time. I've no talent for the game whatsoever. And there's a door. Let's head to the door. It's tightly locked. Everywhere's locked! How do I progress? I mean, I technically don't have anything to go on. That's the thing that's frustrating for me is I don't actually have anything to go on in terms of fresh flowers quite pretty I it feels like this could be a really good thing to do with like last express with the real time elements 
that could be really cool. But at the moment, I'm just kind of stumbling around. Hello. Okay. Grab ourselves some new equipment. Okay. Mr. Rogers, I was wondering if I might have a word. If you'll forgive me, sir, I'm far too busy to talk with you at present. Uh, okay, never mind. The refrigerator hardly seems large enough for a house of this size. Well, it depends how many people would be there and for how long. Yes, I thought this might be there. Um, room. So nothing to interact with there. Is this going to tell me like what I need to do? The island got its name by being shaped like a wrecked ship. It also downed more than a few unwary boats in the day. So we know we've met four of them. Thomas Rogers, the butler, an efficient chap, walked down and hit in on him having a row with his wife. She seemed quite upset at the prospect of certain events repeating themselves. Ethel, but this wife seems quite put out about this whole affair. There are, uh, I overheard her arguing with the husband about the trouble of dealing with so many guests at such short notice. She indicated this wasn't her first time in such a situation. Henry Bloor. He was the man who framed my brother, I'm certain of it. Anthony Moss and a young reckless fool. Lucky there aren't any roads on the island. Oh. Okay, those are not the people we've met. <laughs> I'm really confused. How do I progress? How do we bring? Maybe I pop into these rooms then. It's tightly locked. Okay. Tile and marble. Quite expensive from the look of it. Okay. So to look Tile and marble. So I'm quite expensive the from the look It might be of soap. It. It's possible, I suppose. This window leads out to the balcony. Oh, there's a balcony. How exciting. Locked. Okay. We might be at a point where I have to actually start thinking about using some of these items, but I'm trying to... This is the intro. This should be just happening. Narakot? I thought you'd be long gone by now. That storm's getting pretty fierce. Somebody scuttled my boat. I saw Bloor watching you like a hawk eyes its dinner. Could it have been him? Possibly. Any idea why? I'd rather not say. Suit yourself. I'd better get ready for dinner. 